Hi everyone, this is Thelma. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Uh, today we're doing a, it's from the Dollar Tree Products Makeup and Skincare, a Get Ready With Me video. Now I already, after washing my face and all that, I used this, um, this here again. It's um, Smooth and Lift Collagen Cleansing Wipes. And just to get any makeup I might not have got off um, in the shower. And and I use this um, face moisturizing cream. And this, um, let's see with the name of this one real fast. Smooth and Lift Collagen Eye Cream. Now I also put this, because uh, I have some wrinkles here and here. Um, I put it all around my eye and right through, see right there and right there and on each side of my lip and where your uh, lips kind of start getting those little wrinkles. I used it there too and it seems to be helping. And uh, I used this. It's called Maybelline and it's green is all I know. But uh, you put this on and um it leaves a it's like a tinted moisturizing and it just helps moisturize your face and i use this uh derma seal uh toner i really like this this is my second bottle that i bought now i also use uh i use this all the time la colors face primer and I didn't put this on my face, but I, I sprayed this. It is a Yardley London um, body mist, and it's English Rose. I got another kind that, um, and I used it before, but this is the new one that I bought. And I put it along my chest and neck and on my arms and uh, hands. And uh, it's kind of oily, but once you get it on, it just leaves your skin feeling nice and smooth. And it smells real good, too. Okay, first, I'm going to use this uh, Revlon Candid. This is in beige. And the blender that I bought came from the Dollar Tree. You get three of them. They had different colors. You get three of them for $1.25. Okay, and this has a pump. And it's nice and thick. I like that. Let me, before I go on any further, put my hair back. I forgot. Now, I bought these, and these came from um, Timu. These little hair clips did. And they're real uh, easy to put in your hair. And they have them in other colors, too. I'm pretty sure they still have them. It's been a while since I bought them. Okay, uh, and just use your blender, or you can use a brush. It depends on... Um, how you want to do it. And I'm just uh, tapping it. Get all the way up to your hairline. And I think I can use a little more. But this is nice and uh, it feels silky like and I've used it before and uh, I really like the results of this foundation. 
Now bring some down into your neck. Now, before, before, <laughs> before I go any further, I'm going to use this uh, L.A. Colors Loose Powder. Just tap it in there. Just enough to... Um, I like putting this on over the liquid foundation. That way it helps um, before, put, before you set it at the end, but it helps keep the foundation in place. But just tap it, and you will have some fallout, but that's okay. It's just a little. Once you get it on, I tap it on first, and then I brush it around. But I got this in beige, too. Now, I haven't seen this uh, that often at the Dollar Tree, this um, L.A. Colors Press Powder. So if you see it, grab it. And uh, then I'm gonna use this um, infallible in pressed powder and uh, put it under, I'm gonna use one of these little sponges that I got from Timu. And I'm gonna go ahead and do under my eyes with it and my nose. And around my lips because I have trouble with uh, the makeup kind of not staying because of my uh, the wrinkles. As you get older, you start getting wrinkles around your uh, lips. And then put just a little bit on your forehead. Okay, next I'm going to use uh, this contour. This came from the Dollar Tree 2. And that's what it looks like. I have a brush here, this small one. Now these brushes came from Shop Miss A, and it has a lid to it. You get 10 brushes, and it was $10. I'm going to use the dark color right here. Just put it wherever you um, feel you need to define your the shape. Looks like more went on the other side. And then put it on the tip of my nose, down here under my, and along my hairline. If you don't have the this kind of pressed powder, you can use those um, pens, the highlighter and the um, contouring. I use them too. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you you'll see. And all the face collagen face cream that I used before, the moisturizer. Um, I use that um, almost every day when I apply makeup. I use it before. I'm on the lookout for some more. I should have bought two of each because once I run out and if I can't find it, I'll have to um, switch to something else. And I really like it. Okay, the nose I'm going to 
used this one still yet and just blend it in. I think I might use use it for all of it. Just blend it in real good. You're just shaping and defining your cheekbones and I put it up around my hair because I have a, a high forehead. And I do my neck like this because I have that double chin. And you just... Blend it in to where you where it blends in, but doesn't leave the lines. It might take a minute, but the results are real good. Now I'm going to do the hairline. Use this. Um, I'm going to try to use this brush let's see sometimes it's hard to get it along that hairline but just keep at it and go go over and just make sure you've got it all that was a shadow Okay. All right, next. We will do the the blush. This is LA Colors Vibin blush in what shade is this? That way you will know. Um XO XO is the shade. And I'm just using this uh, wet and wild uh, brush. Just do nice strokes. See how that uh, contour helps the definition of your cheekbone and, and makes you appear to have high cheeks. Okay, next I'm going to use, which one's the highlighter? This LA Colors highlighter it's a real pretty shade just above your um blush now let's do the t-zone And then I like to add, this is some white glitter highlighter. It's in that. I like to add that along with that. See the shape? Then, to make sure it's blended real good, just take your big fluffy brush and brush over it to blend it. <clears throat> and then, 
I have this uh, LA Colors bronzer. It's that shade. And I like to put it along my jawline. Along my um, hairline. It's to anywhere you get sun, that's where you would um, put this. And not a lot. You don't need a, a lot. Just a little. And let's double check it. I need to blend that contour in just a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, next I have, uh, this is LA Colors Conceal Correct. It also covers up like dark spots. Now this is new. And just put it under your eye. And then there's this little bitty small sponge, not sponge, but um, powder puff, I call them. Now, I bought a whole pack of them. You get small blenders these and the small ones and the regular size a whole pack of them on timu and they come in different colors just blend this in make sure you get right in the corner now i'm gonna put uh where'd it go some um because I don't have any um, eyeshadow, eyelid primer. I do, but it's not from the Dollar Tree. So I just um, use the concealer and it helps. Okay, next, let's see. We're going to do the um, eyeshadow. I've got this, um, it's a three color eyeshadow. It's LA Colors and it is in it's so light. See the shade? That's the shade right there. But what it is, it's green, blue, and a nice um, peachy looking color. I'm trying to get this off. It's real hard sometimes to get these out of the package. It doesn't want to tear right. There. Whew. Finally got it. Okay. First, I'm going to um, use this light shade and brush it all on my um, use this brush right here. I'm going to use this light shade and just brush it all along my eyelid. Go all the way up to under your eyebrows.
Okay, next I'm going to use this, um, the green. <clears throat> Let me find a good size brush. I'm going to use this brush here. I'm going to use the green, just tap it and put it along the outer side and along the lid here. Now I've got a little bit of solid. So make sure you tap your brush real good. That way it doesn't, um, the powder doesn't get under your eye. Put a little bit more. Next, I'm going to use a smaller brush, this small one, and I'm going to do the, it's like a bluish, bluish green color, and put it right in the center, and just like that. Grab this mirror. Yeah, I gotta look out for the foliage. But it wipes off real easy. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna use a real small brush and I'm gonna take and tap it into the blue and the green and put it right under your eye. See? And go slow with it. Okay, there's it for the eyeshadow. Next, um, we're going to use the uh, black. It is, I think it's LA Colors, but it came from the Dollar Tree. Black eyeliner. And don't, don't, um, twist the eyeliner all the way out or it'll break off like mine just did. Just go small strokes and get it right at the edge of your eyelashes. Now put just um, a little bit under your eye. Okay. Next, um, I'm going to take this eyelash curler 
then go ahead and curl your uh, lashes. only takes a second if you don't have one of these it's okay you don't have to curl, curl them okay and I'm using elf um, mascara and it's black Let's poke myself in the eye there. But just put it on as thick as you like and how thick you want your uh, lashes to be. Okay. Next, I'm going to do the eyebrows. But first, I have this... Um, Tame and Define. I uh, I forgot they could put it on my lashes, but it's wet and wild, uh, and it tames and defines your eyelashes and your uh, eyebrows. Like I said, these things are hard to open. But it's just clear. Just put a little on, um, brushing your eyebrows up. Okay, just give that a minute to let it dry. And, and while we're waiting, I'm going to use this e.l.f. Um, mauve lip liner. And I put it on my lips, too, just a little bit. And then this is Ioni um, Lip Plumper Gloss. And it doesn't have a shade on it, but they only had it in this shade and a, like a light pink. And you can really feel this... Um, tingling where it's supposed to be plumping up your lips and I've got some clear lip gloss but I don't want to put it on over top because I just used the lip gloss okay um, that should be good and dry now I'm going to use this um, LA Colors um, eyebrow pencil and just do small strokes to, like what you're doing is giving the illusion that you have more eyebrows than you actually do and you shape them. I just double check and make sure they're even and the same on each brow. But that's what those look that that's what the eyebrows look like. And this is the makeup so far. 
And next, I have this Iona. Um, it's not, it is a, it's not a, it's a magnifying powder. It's not a setting powder. And then I have um, this uh, setting spray. But I'm going to use this for, um, I'm just going to use the, the tip. I'm going to use it for under my eyes. Just a little. My chin. Each side of my nose. And make sure you blend it good. And up here just where those wrinkles are. Okay. And next is the last thing is this um, Iona uh, finishing spray. Okay. Shake it up. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and this is the finished product. And I hope you um, enjoyed today's video. If you did, please click that like button. It really helps my channel grow, and it lets YouTube know um, which videos are doing good, and it lets me know that I'm, I'm headed in the right direction. And if you haven't already, uh, or you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell and select all. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. I do uh, some DIYs, hauls, um, get ready with me, and decorating uh, vlogs. And, um, just by watching my videos and being subscribed to my channel and leave a comment let me know you entered into the contest so i can write your name down um you'll be entered into the two giveaways that i have going on so um hugs and kisses from kentucky until next time bye